welcome everybody for to this uh, training. And uh, I think you know from the start that what we're going to be working on is uh, video editing. And with the applications that's the recommended applications to be used is actually Premiere Pro After Effects and uh, Photoshop. Those are the those are the applications that I would actually recommend for for the class. So by the way, uh, I, I think I had a couple of work files. I have a couple of files that we should work with some videos, but I would have to reinstall them on the system so that we can work with it. So uh, another thing is, uh, we, as I said before, this is our Premiere Pro interface, and uh, we have uh, different panels that we are working with on the Premiere Pro application and stuff. So basically, what we are, what we are going to be talking about here, or what we're going to be focusing on here, is editing, editing of videos and stuff. I'm sure we've heard about it uh, in a couple of places before, like. We've, um, we've done many videos or we've seen online how videos are done and stuff uh, mostly on social media or when an advert needs to be done and stuff so if we ever wonder what applications that are used for for these uh what's it called for these edits Premiere Pro is one of it and uh, not just Premiere Pro I think we have a couple of a uh, couple of them out there so like uh, Da Vinci and uh even after effect after effects can also be considered as a it can also be considered as a what's it called as an editing software although it's not specifically meant for that okay there's something i'm trying to play out here and uh as soon as it's happening i'll share my screen so you can see it so give me, can we all see the screen here can we see the screen here? okay cool all right so this was a video or that was done here or okay so as i say this is an example of what we can do or what we should be able to do with this application and so it's an example of what we can do or what we should be able to do with this application with premiere pro uh but that particular video was actually done uh, in combination with After Effects. I did not do it alone. We we actually combine actually combined two applications to get that job done. I did it for a for an edutech company some months back. Know all that, and I was supposed to create uh, what's it called an intro video for them. So that's one example. I wanted to show you guys something like give an example of what we can actually do if we do become or when we do become professionals uh using this application but we're not going to jump or uh, onto being professionals we i think we're going to take uh, step by step it's going to be a step by step process before we get there and stuff we're going to take a step by step process before we get there but firstly uh what we're going to talk about now before we start uh working on the effects and the color correction and color grading i think the first thing that we talk about would be um the interface of the application that we are working with the interface yeah so um over here if you can see my mouse can you guys see my mouse we can go to response yes 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 all right so from this area here uh if you notice my screen i'm trying to click i'm clicking on uh, uh the panels that we have on the on the screen and there are about four of them right so this is where we impute our media. This particular panel is where we impute our media. And this is our source panel over here. This is our source panel. And as you can see, this spells here, source, no clips. Yeah, because we don't have any clips added to it yet. So this is our source panel. And this here is our program panel. While this, at this point here, is our timeline. Now, the reason I'm introducing or why I'm talking about this place is because very soon we're going to be seeing their functions and I don't want anybody to be confused about them when we are using them or when we are speaking about them. Yeah. So just give me a sec and then I'll find the... So give me a sec and uh, I'll show you how the media panel here or how the, the panel here works. So over here, 
over here we have over here we have uh, if i double click here if i double click here i can go to my my computer this is my computer i can go to my system directory uh, right here i'm going where i have my clips and i'll click on any of these clips here and once i open it once i open it it gives me the clip i'm working with from here you okay can, can you guys hear me can you guys hear me yes we can hear you okay i'm sorry about the background noise i'm sorry about the background noise and uh, this is just for today and i'm sure later on we're actually going to get a much more conducive, con conducive area to work with so please just bear with me for today uh, people keep coming into the office and going out and i uh, really can't stop that but i think later on we have to, have to find a particular place where uh won't be interfered with or won't be disturbed so our apologies for for this one so i just imported a, a particular clip into my media panel or yeah my media panel where i drop my files and all of that so uh as you can see there's something i want us to take note of and that is this sound icon here if you look here there's a sound wave over here where my mouse is on and on top of it is a video icon right there now the reason why i do this is because most times when we create new sequence our sequence actually has the same names with the video clips i'm mentioning this now because over time some of us might actually find it difficult to uh, differentiate between a video clip and the sequence for instance what i have up here what i have up here highlighted is uh, titled sequence one yeah so it has a different icon which shows a video clip the video clip icon right here and stuff so we have to take note of you going to so um Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did before just so that everybody gets what I did. I'm going to go in again and drag in another media. I'll click, double click on this, on an empty space here. And I'll find my directory. I can locate it. Uh, actually, I have mine. I, I have these videos here stored in my flash drive. So, but you can actually find, just in case you have it saved somewhere else, I can come to my document, uh, come to Caleb folder and look for where i have uh, i have any kind of video or any kind of clips i think i have some clips here some images and all of that so i'm dragging this one and they say open and that automatically brings the video the business corporate promo video into my media please are we getting that are we following yes yes okay thank you very much okay now uh Premiere Pro doesn't just work with videos. Uh, we also work with, uh, what's it called, with images. I can also Im import images and also uh, audios. So I can also import image, uh, this one, audio files and also image files. So, but then again, when you look at this, uh, I can I can really work with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my teeter on my keyboard so that this, uh, this particular panel will expand. So Tida is actually the coily, uh, coily key. They have you have a coily shape on top of it at the left side of your left top side of your of your keyboard. If you click on it, it uh, restores back. If I click on it, it expands. I don't know if you guys get that. Can you locate that on your keyboard? It's coily. If you have the application on, if you have the Premiere Pro application on on your systems. You can try that and see if it works. Please let me get a response. Get your tea there. Are you guys with me? Yes, the shortcut is working. Okay, very good. All right, I just needed to confirm. Just need to confirm that. Okay, so now that we have the search words open, uh, sorry, now that we have the the media panel open and is large i want to show you something now if i click on this icon here at the background you notice that as soon as i do that the images the image thumbnail appears on the screen so this time i know what kind what particular image or what particular video that i am working with and along it you can see the audio icon over here 
So one other thing I can do is if I use my mouse, if I move my mouse across the timeline, it's, there's a mini timeline here. You notice that while I'm moving it, the image in the video is plain, slight, slightly plain. Do you guys notice that? Are you guys with me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. So I have to keep asking this question so I know that you are following or you are there. I don't want a situation where I'll be talking to myself. So if I do that, the video is actually kind of plays a bit. So basically, I have this, uh, this uh, what's it called? The, I have my, what's it called? Some videos, some video clips up here. So let me try now and bring in uh, an audio or okay so i uh, click here and uh, go i think i have a couple of all the files that i work with uh go to mm, okay all this here audio for the audio files i'm not so sure i'm coming um okay the folder is where i save most of the things i work with and i mostly work with uh, audio since i do with animation stuff okay all right. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. This is still a video file. I want to work with an. I want to bring in an audio file. Now, the reason I'm bringing an audio file is because uh, at the end of the day, I want to show you guys how you would. Okay, here this here's an audio file. Yeah. At the end of the day, I want to show you guys how you would have to arrange your documents. Okay. This is the icon that comes with an audio file and stuff. This is the icon that comes with the audio file, so it's not, uh, it won't be difficult for you to, it won't be difficult for you to differentiate, like when you're driving an audio file, besides the name and all that, you don't always look, need to look at the name of the video and stuff. But here, this is the icon that comes with an audio file, so you can easily differentiate what the sequence look like, which is this one over here, with this kind of icon. This icon is actually clips, cuts from the timeline. Once you start working on the timeline, you see this, you see something like this. Do you see something like this over here? Okay. All right. So this here is a video. Video, it's not hard to identify given the thumbnail that shows over it. And then this over here is the audio. I'm going to expand it again so that we can see. Okay. Now there are other ways that we can uh <clears throat> okay, let me bring in some images. I double click on an empty space and I go to uh where I have worked some images, okay, like, and for this, so I, I kind of do graphic design too, so because of that, I have a couple of images from uh, stock that I work with, so just hold, hold my control down and select some of these images, yeah, hold my control down so that I can select multiple images at the same time, so I click that and then I bring it in, okay. All right, so these ones are also not uh, difficult to identify because over here you find out that the images do not have sound and because they don't have sound, there is no sound icon that goes with them. As you can see, these are images, no sound icon goes with them. Okay, uh, I'll bring them back to normal size so everybody can see and then I'll also make it a list view rather than the grid view that we had initially, okay? I'm making the list view. This is the list view. You see everything straight. So because most a lot of times we're going to be working with like numerous amounts of clips and images and audios and stuff. So we need to be able to see everything at the same time, unlike having them in grid form where they can all be scattered and we have to be scrolling up and down. So I'll go back to my list form and I'll try to organize the file. Now, this is just an uh, introduction. So we're not working with anything serious now just showing you a bit of uh, how we work with these files. So I'll come here and I'll create a new bin, click on it, and then create a new folder, which is a bin. And if I click on the folder, it opens up, meaning that, okay, I can actually save some things inside of that bin there. So let's go there and then I'll uh, rename this for video. And then say, okay, right. so this, in this clip here, I am going to be saving the video. In this clip here, I'm going to be saving the videos. So um, we're all there and we can all see my screen. I would want somebody out there to tell me which of all these here 
is a video, which one is an audio, or which one is a uh, an image. Which of these clips here, right? Just give me identify them with whatever you can identify with, right? Identify them with whatever it is that you can identify with them with. But tell me which of these clips here should be put in here in the video in the video folder. Please, you can unmute your mic and let me hear what you say. Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. You. I think this the seventh, eight, and ninth uh, folder. Seventh, eight, and nine. Yes. Okay, you mean the one Q two A? Yes, yes. No, no, from the business corporate. From business corporate down. Yes. You mean okay? You mean this tree here? Yes. But the, the no, no, no. Just the two, the two, okay. just the two, rather. Okay, just these two, right? Yes, yes. The business and one. Okay. Two, two. All right. Okay. Good. So I just want to test if you guys know, like, mastered the icon or got the whole thing I was saying about having the icon. So, okay, here I'll hold here and drag into the folder. I held and dragged into the folder. I'm doing this just so that we have our work clean. We have our workspace clean. I hold this and drag it into the folder. And I'll come down here to my uh, drop down and click on that. So based on that, I think I'll just have to do the same thing for the other uh, clips that I have here. I'll create a new bin and then I'll call the, the next one photo. OK, so I'll keep doing that. And then I'll drag in my photos PNG. You can tell that these are pictures from their icons here and stuff. So I'll hold my shift so I can select everything from, from down from the last one to the top. Hold and drag into the photo folder and collapse it. And I'll do the same thing for the audio. Click or differ. And then I'll drag my audio into that place. Okay, so the only thing I'm not working with or the only thing I'm not uh, touching is this sequence. The reason I'm not touching this sequence is because this is, uh, what's it called? It's not a it's not a clip. It represents what we have here. It's like a workspace. Like a, a how do I explain this now? Basically like a workspace or like a canvas. Just like if any of you have done something or worked on Photoshop before or on Microsoft, you find out that okay, you can always open a new page when you're working by pressing Ctrl N. Ctrl N, yeah, that's a shortcut for opening a new page. So you can have multiple pages open on one uh, one application at a time. You have, can have multiple pages open. So as you can see from here, I have my sequence four here, and I have a totally different theme here, which is a documentary that I'm doing for uh, his or Hub uh, in Benin. And so I'm not done yet. I'm just uh, just only started. So you come back here. This is the space that we are working with. So that's the reason why I, I, I'm not dragging a sequence into a sequence folder. I just leave that there because that's what we're going to be working with. Okay. So is there any question you want to ask about your timeline, your media file here? Does anyone have any question from this area? No, I don't have any question. Okay, cool. 